we had a VHS at the time cassette of the Magic Flute, and I used to watch this production hundreds of times. Of course, I don't remember, but my parents told me that when I was a baby, I would stand next to the speakers and just stare at the speakers because my father was always playing music in the house. You know, there's an art to the glissando. The old school violinists, they were really trying to imitate the human voice. And so they were always doing it with some vibrato. You have to have that in Heldenleben. You have to feel the slide. You have to taste it. It's like a human voice is singing it. I feel you have to treat it in that way. I was born in New Haven, Connecticut. I uh, lived there for seven years and then moved to Columbus, Ohio, not far from Cleveland. <laughs> my father is a composer and uh, my mother's a, a piano teacher. I grew up listening to, to classical music uh, and jazz. My mom was giving me lessons and then for quite a few years I was playing both violin and piano. I can't remember what exactly drew me more to the violin, maybe the vocal aspect of it. With violin or with string playing in general, we, we try to imitate the human voice, so maybe that drew me towards it. I just naturally just started playing more violin than piano until it was sort of like, okay, listen, if violin is what it is, then you got to put all your eggs in that basket. I had been introduced to Ben Saevich at the International Center for Music, and I was a bit lost, I think. Um, I, I was doing my master's at Yale, and I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to take as, as an artist. I came to him, I played for him, and it just, it just clicked. And through the process of just studying with him and having these conversations, he gave me the ability to practice in an intelligent way. That was very important for me. Of course, we're doing this interview in a hotel room because we're on tour. We've just been almost two weeks on tour. We've played in Lucerne, we've played in Hamburg. Right now, uh, we are in Vienna playing Schubert's Ninth Symphony and Mozart Piano Concerto Number no. 21 with Igor Levitt. You know, I'm just a few weeks old in this orchestra. So for me, every concert is kind of a highlight for me right now because I'm still tasting it. I'm still getting the sense of the group and the orchestra and how they play and how wonderfully they play. Franz, as a conductor, is incredibly sensitive, just incredibly sensitive. The music is always first. When we played in Berlin, that was really special, especially because I was then able to listen to the Schubert after. When you actually hear it without playing, it's a, I, I was like, wow, this is a, really an incredible orchestra. Classical music really, to me, is like we're sharing our humanity with the rest of the world. And um, it's really important where, for me to live in a, in a society that supports them.